Now, while your students can access your course calendar um, via that link, and I'll go back here to the Google Calendar settings page, you'll see that calendar address is long and obviously very um, inconvenient to either remember, um, students could bookmark it, but I mean even just that first time that your students want to access the calendar, it might be difficult um, with all, you'll notice that there's question marks and there's L's and 1's and you know the confusion between zeros and, and the letter O. So what you might want to do is take this, highlight it, and then copy it. So if you right click and copy or two finger tap on a, uh, on a Mac and uh, copy that link, we can go over to a website. It's called bit.ly.com and you'll see here, I'm just going to zoom in on that title up at the top, bitly.com. And if you go there and create an account, you're going to see that there is a spot in the corner once you log in where you can paste a link. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And when I do, it gives me a spot to actually paste a URL. And that's just simply your Google Calendar address. So I'm going to Control V or right click and paste it. And then it'll automatically give me a box here that. Uh, that we're going to then have a what we call a bit.ly short link. And you'll see here in this box that there's a little pen where you can actually edit it. So see how it says bit.ly. So that'll be the essentially the um, part of the website the students will have to remember, not too bad. And then after a forward slash is what you can call the calendar. So if let's say you're teaching uh, 1D um, or maybe um, you know, a grade 10 math, you could say maybe your last name and then 1D for grade 9 academic or maybe even just uh, Pierce um, grade 9, whatever works for you. Obviously, if it's already been used, um, you won't have access to it. So, for example, if I try MPM1D, which is a course code, that might already be taken. So they might not allow you to use it. Um, however, if you use your last name and then some sort of course code, you should be good. Okay, so for example, if I go Pierce, um, and I'm gonna make it something, you know, so I'm not, I'm gonna say Pierce calendar example. So some, some short link that no one would ever use. I don't wanna waste one on anyone. I'll press enter. And there it is. I could copy it by clicking this guy. And then I can open a new tab and paste in that link which is bit.ly forward slash Pierce calendar example. When I press enter, it'll actually forward the client to the actual calendar address. And bam, there you go, you're at the calendar. So now you have a bit.ly link. So you'd want bit.ly forward slash, maybe your, your last name, and then grade nine or whatever it may be.